Hi, Javier. Yes. Yes. You're gonna tell yeah. me your story today. I'll tell you a, a little bit of my story. Okay. Javier, would you tell me more about you? Well, honestly, homeless is just a place where you don't want to be. But my name is Javier, and I'm just telling you this for a good cause and a good cause only. That life is just a struggle. You had to be dealing with, you know, every single day, waking up in the morning, go going to sleep at night, just dealing with every coming your way. Because life is just a survival game, you know. All it is, you have to survive in life, you know. Life is just a struggle, which you need to survive off of that too. Because in the end, there's no one else that, that's going to help you except you. Okay, you just gave him the back of the food. That's nice of you. What's your name? Alexis. Alexis? Oh, that's very sweet of you. Okay. Very shy. Thank you, Alexis. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay, go ahead. My name is Javier. This is how I'm living. It sucks. I understand that. There's things in life that we gotta learn and that we need to understand. And that we need to forget sometimes, you know? Because mm -hmm. life alone is just a survival game. Right. It's a very, very serious game. We have to survive on money, we have to survive on food, we have to survive for our lives mm -hmm. from from life and death. Because our life is just nothing but a survival game. From day one, from day one to the day we were born. We are here to met on this earth to live a life, mm -hmm. to live a life of succeeding. That's why we have life, is to deal with life and to deal with life. Without life, I think we wouldn't be anything, you know? We won't be nothing, we won't be this, we won't be that, you know? But our life is good. It's just, it's just a very serious game. It's a survival game. From starting from, from day one, you have to survive. Oxygen keeps us there to survive. <laughs> so yeah, so we actually gotta survive in life because our life is just a very serious survival game. We have to survive from life and death, from good and evil, from what's right, from what's wrong. We have to survive on food, survive on our money, and survive in the streets because the streets is just a very deadly place. No one can survive in the streets. Look, we, I, I've been alive for about a year in the streets, which I'm happy for, you know? Thank God I'm still alive, till this day. But the streets is just a very serious game. It's deadly, and it's sick. It's just sick. People could just even just kill you, or just rape you, molest you, and just have and just get away with it, you know? Have you seen any of those things happen in front of you? No. Good. Um, how long have you been homeless? I've only been homeless for about huh? a year, a honestly. Year? Uh, honestly, for a year. It's not fun because it's well, just, yeah. it, it don't take us nowhere, you know? What brought you to be homeless? Well, family issues, family turning against, you know? Oh, Having my I'm life, sorry, yeah. being wasteful. I used to smoke weed about two years ago. I quit that, thank God. That's good. You know? But all of a sudden, like, my life is not the way it helps me. No one's life should not be like this. Because no one's life cannot be in danger. Only if you want to put yourself in danger. It's up to you, you know? Sometimes we cause trouble. Yes, I understand that. But in reality, trouble comes looking for us. Mm -hmm. But in the real world, we are here to survive. And that's why we need to survive. survive How old are you? I'm only 22. That's good age. 22 years old. People still say I, I'm in high school. I was like, no. Actually, I flunked high school. Now I'm going back to adult school. So I was like, but you look young though. You should be in high school. I was like, yeah, I know. I was in high school about a few years ago until I flunked. So now I'm just going to a continuation school. But yeah, people's lives should not be like this. It's not supposed to be like 
the way it is, the way that you know. Because homeless sucks. Being homeless is sucks. Being in, be, being in the streets is hard. Yes, you can learn a lot of things from the streets. Mm -hmm. But do you want to keep learning it for the rest of your life? Keep dealing with the same problems every single day? Try to survive on the streets for every little bit that you have, you know? For everything that you got? Like, it's hard. It's a struggle. I hear people that are homeless that lost a job, but they can't find the jobs. So they need help. Mm -hmm. They actually need help. Because I need help. But people out there in the world does not know what love really is. Because if there was love in this world, this world itself could change. Mm -hmm. We are the key of changing this world. If people don't change, this world won't change at all. We won't change. This world is already sinking as it is. The streets is a very daily game. And our life is more like a survival game, of a serious survival game, which is really hard to succeed. Because we have to struggle with, fi with um, finances, we have to struggle with food, we have to struggle with, with the house. It's hard to survive life. It's hard to survive. Our life is meant to be surviving. Our life is meant to do something. Our life is there for us to have it, to do something with our life, instead of us being homeless like me. If there was love in this world, like, as I show love, even though I'm homeless, I still show love for other homelessness because I care for them, you know? But with me, in reality, the main number one key for this world to change is love. Show love and this world will change. People will change. We will change. This whole world will change just by us. Because us people alone are the key to change this world. Not no one else. Not God. God is there. He's our Father, yes. But he says we are the people, we are the ones that can change this world. We are the ones that, that, that are here to be alive, to be grateful. It says inside the Bible too, we survive by air. And we do survive by air. We breathe and we breathe it in with oxygen. People wake up in the morning with a bad attitude sometimes saying, Oh, I don't care about my life, I'm gonna kill myself, this and that, like like this world sucks. It's it's effing no good and all that. I was like, come on, man, really? I don't want to hear that. Just thank God for another day. Even though what comes your way, what makes you upset, just let it go. You're just letting other people's power get into you, you know? And, and just having them control you. Just ignore it. Just let it go. Because our life right here, we only got one life and one life only. With just one life, that's it. We're not here permanently, we're only here temporarily, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's true, we are here temporarily. We're all not here temporarily. We could just go tomorrow, we could just, could just be gone tonight, you know? We could all just drop dead right now, if God wants us to, you know? God says, you know what, I'm tired of this world. These people are not changing themselves, they're not doing right for the world to change. What else can I do? I will have to destroy it. I will have to kill everybody here. As including myself. You know? Tell, tell me about your family and your well, experience with them. I've been having issues with my family ever since I was a kid. The more we have issues, the more they turn against. But well, I told myself, just don't deal with me. You know, just go away, just move somewhere. So I just ended up homeless. But now I'm just getting back on my feet, bringing myself back to reality. From there, I'm leading myself to success, which I got like you know, nothing really, but I have God, you know? God is my father, but. Anything could put you homeless, family, drugs, anything, you know? Just life, period, could just bring you down. Life is just not a joke, you know? Life is just a very serious, serious thing. Life is just a way of surviving, which we have to survive, and us. We had to, like... So what was, was, uh, what was the issue of your family that made you to leave family? And end up to be homeless. Well, it was just com uh, too much commotion, too much disturbance, and it was just too negative. A lot of fightings, huh? A lot of fightings. A, a lot of problems, fighting, arguing, people just making fun of each other and all that, you know. 
just try to get on everybody's behind, just get them all mad, you know, it's like, I just had to it wasn't my thing, I was arguing with my aunt too much, just bringing up stuff too much, so, that's how I ended up homeless, you know. Do you miss your family? Honestly, I do not. I care for them, I love them, yes, but I don't miss them, you know. What's your plan? My plan in life is to succeed in reality. Okay, so you're trying still, right, to just survive? To, just to open myself up to society, get myself a job, you know, get me things that I want. Honestly, I already got me a cell phone, which is good, which is a blessing. Honestly, I got me some food, which I'm grateful and, and I'm happy for every single day. I have a couple of pairs of clothes that I wear and I watch, which I'm grateful for every single day for the things that I have. People who are homeless should not be taken advantage. People who has jobs, who has this, should not be disrespectful to homelessness. They're not there to disrespect me. Yes, sometimes we chose our life like this. But yes, that's not necessarily true all the time. Some people has jobs and the house but they get laid off and they lose their house because they can't get because they can't pay the bills so right. they become homeless did it happen to you huh did it happen to you have you tried enough and then you and you um kind of like um, got into the limitation or kind of like so i wonder how you you know yeah. Led you to be here. Um, we did. We tried enough. Okay. What What do you want to do in the future? Like you said about success. Well, what do you want to do? Well, as in my success, mm -hmm. honestly, what I want to do as I keep on, and I will always keep on doing, is helping people. You know. As I said when I was a kid, the best thing I love doing is helping people which is, I want to be a nurse, you know? So I can help people who are in need. Uh -huh. Mentally or physical people, or just people who are sick. But there's people out there who are homeless that wants a job, that wants to be succeeding, you know? That wants to have a future, but they can't get a job. So are you trying to get a job as a nurse? Honestly, I'm studying a little bit about nursing off my phone, but I'm actually not in college where I can learn, but... Yeah, you might can use a grant. Um, so you can, you can uh, prepare yourself for the career. Because, honestly, everybody has a future. Everybody has a life. Mm -hmm. But there's only one thing that you choose to do. Whatever makes your path is whatever makes your path. It leads you to your future from there. You choose your future with whatever you want to do. You choose your life, whatever you want to go. You choose the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the direction of the way of life and, and how your future is going to be. If you want to keep yeah. on drinking and being an alcoholic, it will lead you to your future yeah. where you could be an alcoholic and keep on being like an alcoholic. And it's just not right, you know? Yeah, sounds like a... You still have hope in your life. You're not kind of I like have hope. give up. That's good. By the way, um, I don't give up. Even though I do, I still ra I raise myself back up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have much time, so oh, we have right, to just uh, make it on a short. Um, that's all right. Beer. You told me earlier about how you feel about people, how they see homeless people, and uh, honestly, homeless people should not be treated with disrespect. They should show love as love is supposed to be in this world. Honestly, everything else, like, if they knew what love is, this world would change. We would change. This world would change. Because we show people love. People just want to show hatred. It's very hard to find people who care nowadays. It's just nothing but sickening and disturbance and just ugly evil everywhere. Even though we're homeless, so what? Even though we choose or we're not to choose to put our life like this, there's no need for you guys to be disrespecting us. 
What if you guys start crying out that you guys need help and there's no one else to help you? Because you didn't even help that other people, that other person who's asking you for help. If they would do that, we would change, you know? Because our life is nothing but a battleground between good and evil. Our life is just a survival game, you know? Our life is just a war, you know? A war against fighting other people, fighting with ourselves, and facing good and evil, you know? What's going to come to you? What's going to happen to you? What's going to come after that, you know? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to be, you know? You may never know. This world is just a gruesome world. Anything could happen to you. Anything could happen to you in this world. Someone could just kill you. Someone could just rape you and kill you if they want to say anything. Some of the victims out there, out there who, who are rapists, they rape females and they kill them after that so, so they won't have to say anything, you know? So how, well, honestly, what do you want to say to people now, how they, you know, behave to, or toward the people, honestly, like uh, homeless people? If you know the word love and understand what love really is and show it, this world could change. People could just pass it on and pass it on. But in reality, this world is not good. This world is not love. It's just hatred and evil. And it's very sickening. People will understand what love is. This world could change and we could change. So you've been That's telling it. about the love. Man, you need the love. You're right. If, if there was a love in your home, you shouldn't be here, right? Exactly. Yes. I wouldn't yeah. be here. I would be at home, happy with my right. family. So don't give up on that. Maybe you can start. You know, well, to that's what I'm show the love to others. And I've been doing that for all my life. Yeah, but people good. just want to take... You know what's funny? There's some people out there in the world that are helping out other people. But those who are evil will take advantage of the ones who are loving. I mean, earlier you said you want to... You agreed with me to make this movie. Because uh, yes. if it's got to be help, helping to someone. Yes, so but someone how, the, how do you want now? this movie can help? Okay, good. See? Is, uh, is there a last word you want to say, but Like, if there's something you want to say before we, uh, you know, close this Honestly, video. there's one thing that I do want to say to everybody. If you guys check out this little video, this little clip that I, that I have recorded, I understand what love really is. This world is nothing but love. You could change. You could change. Okay. Because you yourself could also could be your own worst enemy. You yourself could also be dangerous. You may never know what this world is capable of doing. Yeah. But if this world would change with love and have understanding what love is, this world will be a whole new better place. And it will be okay to stay. Everybody should not be taking advantage of everybody, doing everybody wrong. Love each other, as God said. Love thy neighbors as you love me. And love thy enemies, you know? Love thy neighbors and your enemies as you love me, you know? And it's true. We're supposed to love each other, not hate each other. This world is meant to be loved. I know there's separate diverse in this world, but good and evil but still yeah. why would you want to be evil for the rest of your life okay. do you think it'll, it'll make you any better make you a better person for who you are thinking that you're in control no you're not in control you're not for who you for, you are not for who you are you know you are is for who you are it's what you really are not for who is you are really not if you're a tough guy and thinking you're all big and bad, but you're not really that, stop acting that way. If you're like a big old macho man thinking like, oh, I'm going to get every people, I'm the meanest guy in the world, I'm going to beat them all up because I don't care because I have so much evil in my life. No, bro, that's not the right way of life. Evil brings more evil into your life. If you do evil, evil will come back to you ten times worse. As in love, if you love people, love will come back to you ten times more than it does and it actually does happen this world is it's the way that, that it is yeah, even the bible says it 
The Bible says the truth, and that's what's happening right now. God says, if you bring love forward to people, ten times more, love my children, I'll give you back ten times more. And it also says in the Bible, if you do evil wrong, if you do evil wrong ten times more. You I'll sound like a preacher. Uh, or I just like talking, yeah. I just like speaking the truth, you know? Yes. You I read the Bible? That. Yeah, see with me, I've been helping people all, all my life. My family told me too. Why would you want to help the people who are hurting you and taking advantage of you? Well, God says love your enemies too. As you love your neighbors, as you love Him, you know? Yeah. I, I don't care what people think about me, you know? They could talk trash to me, spit at me, do whatever they want, just, just disagree what I have to say, you know? I love you, you know? People are there to meant to be loved. People are there to meant to be helped. People are there to meant to be taken care of, you know? Not okay. to be punished, not to be hatred, not to be a person that's just spit on the ground and just be left to the side and just don't care for him, you know? Not yeah. to help him out. As I say again, if there's help and there's love in this world, we can change. And we can change. Okay. And that's it. It sounds very hopeful, you know? And then, um, I and hear true. you, I hear you, and that it's true, you, know? you have, um, what, a desire for living, don't, don't give up. I have desire yeah. for people, you know, but, yes, they could just do whatever that they want to do, it's up to them, Yeah. but it leads them to wherever they're going, you know. Hope you don't, uh, give up and then hope you don't, you know, lose your hope and just to keep, keep it up, keep it up and then. Uh, you know what? Yeah. You know, I am. I share, share the. Uh, I'm for doing hope what I'm doing. Okay. But I'm sorry, but I, I have to go. So um, I'm okay. gonna say goodbye now. Um, and well, speech. You know. You know. I bet is this video will help some people yeah. who might need okay. a hope, right? An encouragement. Thank you for, you know, yeah. sharing your story. And if you want to join in, come on. Okay. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, try to find a That's way. Okay. Try to find a way. Don't, don't, don't give up and, uh, you know, look for the way that you can, you know, yeah. uh, develop your, you know, life can be better. You know, so, use your prayer too. There's a power in prayer. So, um, nice meeting you, Havel. Nice meeting you too.